Next, what I want to do is talk a little bit about what happens when you get stuck on the ground. And some of this will be applicable to what I'm doing when I'm not stuck on the ground. And that'll make sense to you in a moment. When I do attack that head outside single and I get into this position here, as we noted, I keep my shoulder right in that pocket. It's critical I don't let him get out. And that's the game is I got to keep that in that pocket. So if he's going away from me, I've got to keep up. If he pushes into me, I post into him to block his attack or his, his defense. This is corkscrewing down. Notice I get this deep high on the outside of the calf here. This comes across. I'm pushing in here with my head. My eyeballs are going this way because that's the way I'm going to attack her. That's going to be the root of my finish. Always trying first to go to the double leg. Again, I don't want to keep my toe curled. You can grab it. I don't want to keep it out here because all of a sudden my angle gets very unfavorable here. Now, one thing I want to emphasize is how to switch off to a double. Let me first discuss how not to do it. And that includes if you prefer this type of an attack as well, or this type of a grip here or here. First, what's critical is I never switch off to a double until the weight is transferred to this far leg. This is a very difficult position against somebody that's good or experienced. Notice that Colby's weight is on the front leg here, and actually that's where he'd want it to be if he was defending in this situation. This is a very poor opportunity for me now to try to switch to a double, because as I do, he's got a lot of power to be able to catch my arm and defeat me. He's in much better position mechanically than I am here. So step number one is I have to transfer the weight to this far leg. The next thing that's critical and before I go over that, notice if I've transferred the weight to this far leg, okay, the weight's over here. If he grabs under here, that doesn't matter. If the weight is on that far leg, he has much more power hooking me with this arm, with his weight here, than he does if his weight is on this leg. If he's got it here, he's going to still go over, especially, too, if I've got my arm closer towards the back of his leg or around his knees. Okay, so it's critical we get the weight over here. So I've shifted the weight. Now the next step is to transfer from outside single to double. And how do I do that? The way not to do it is to let go of control of my opponent's legs as I come to a double. Because as I do that, pull your legs back, Colby. I'll probably lose the position against somebody good. You need to secure this leg that you've originally secured and held on to throughout that whole motion. So if I'm in here on Colby, as I switch, I want you to look at this arm here. This stays tight. As this arm transfers, notice I shift the weight. As this arm transfers, this one here, notice this one here stays very tight. So that the whole time, this leg is secured. There's never an instant where I do this. Never an instance where I let go totally. As I transfer the weight and then transition from outside single to double, I transition the weight here, push the weight over. This stays tight and watch. This is quick, boom, right to the uh, behind his knee, my hand on the top of his calf here, and I'm going to drive. And again, we know how to block the guard by keeping the shoulder in the socket here still and keeping this arm here straight. Then we come to this position here. So again, immediately once I get stuck in this position because my opponent was able to block me, I've got to keep tight, keep concentrating on shoulder position, transfer the weight. When I switch, this stays very tight. It's a quick switch and a drive. If I'm not careful, and I don't transition the weight first, I reach up, Colby's going to beat me. At the same time, if I've switched and Colby grabs my arm, once the weight's transferred, doesn't matter. He's in a very weak position 
even if he's got my arm, when he's going this way, I got the weight on his uh, leg. Now, to add to that, I'm in this position. Remember, there are two basic uh, directions my opponent can, can tend to, at least if we're talking about circling, he can go. He can go away from me or into me. Now, if he goes into me, that is not the time for me to think about switching to a double. We have other techniques that we'll go over to finish from that position. Why? Because if he's able to push into me, you can be darn sure that his weight is on the leg that I've got secured, which is not the leg I want his weight on. I want his weight on the far leg. Now, that being said, when he's pushing into me, while I'm going to be pushing back, that's not the time to be thinking of a double leg. Conversely, if my partner is going away from me, let's go slow so I can demonstrate this. I continue to try to catch him. I keep that shoulder in. That's critical because as he's coming away, he's going to try to beat my shoulder position here. And what I'm going to do with him now, I want to make that transition to the double. As he's, as he's got my leg here, each time he steps, the weight's on this far leg, which is where I want it to be if my opponent had me in this leg with his head outside here. So it's switch to double. Switch to double. Switch to double. It's not switch to double here when I'm lifting. It's switch to double right when I make contact. Switch to double. Switch to double. If I have my, my opponent has a head outside single here, and I'm retreating away from him or circling away, he doesn't want to do a double right when I'm stepping here. He wants to do the double when my weight is on this foot. That's when he wants to switch off and transition into a double. Why? My weight is on that foot. Not only is my weight on that foot, my weight might even be slightly further or slightly to the outside, and I may have to catch up. But in any case, I'm in favorable position at that point to attack as I'm spinning my with my opponent. So he's going to come around. I can, I can feel that. I can feel him step. Cool. And as you do that, just like before, maintaining good contact with the outside arm, so that when I switch over, this arm doesn't become lazy so that my opponent can pull his leg back. This arm stays in tight as I continue to keep the weight on that far leg and I transition. And then I just jam him over that, uh, that foot. The other thing, I have it, some people have a tendency to do when they're in a double or, or a high crotch situation and then switch off to a double is this. Don't, don't lift, notice, I got, I'm in a double. I start out high crotch single here, or outside single. I transition the weight. Now, when I chop here, okay, one, I'm not pulling the arm, I'm not pulling the leg in. I'm not trying to pull in. Everything is going through him, and also what's critical is that the weight comes down. This arm, two corkscrews down. The weight is very heavy so that he can't bounce on it. So he try, if he tries to adjust or shift, that ain't going to happen. The mistake some people make is, after they switch, there's a tendency to like lift up and notice what his foot just did. His foot just got an angle, so now he can push back into me and fight. So, I'm in on the high crotch or outside single position here. Pushing in, I'm coming around, you know, we're spinning away from me. He steps, I feel that, I push with my head, push to get extra weight on that, secure the one leg, transfer corkscrew down so there's a lot of weight on this far leg. I don't pull it in. I jam kind of down and through because the more I jam downward, and I'm not really coming down like this, I'm driving through, but there's still weight down with this corkscrewing arm here. He's not going to be able to do this and readjust. Conversely, if somebody has an outside single here on me and they lift up when they transition, I might be able to get my leg out because there's no weight on this far leg here. So, I'm not saying there aren't at times it's where it's appropriate to lift, there are. And actually we'll be doing some of that. But from that chop position, your goal is to keep the weight on that far leg so that that leg is not very mobile. And you can do that by putting as much weight as you can on that leg. Once more, I'm in here. And Colby, Colby's spinning around. 
spinning around. I keep, I keep that position. I can feel, boom, I felt that weight here. So initially I'm driving. You see I'm driving here. I'm going to switch from here. I keep the weight down and I look, look how I launch with my feet. Push, push. Make sure he doesn't get me in the guard. Come to his side. When I finish that double here, I get kind of like a little bit of a lurch here. But I try to keep, again, the weight down. I don't want to be lifting up so much as just driving across and keeping the weight hard on that far leg. Now, another little uh, important part of all of this position is for me to keep my chest so that there's a lot of contact with Colby's thigh. Now, sometimes when I'm in here, you know, I'm really trying to, at first I keep the weight here, then I transfer it, and then I switch. But sometimes, my opponent will be able to get his leg back a little bit. Now, instead of trying to pull the leg in, which is very difficult because my arms are probably not going to be as, as strong as his legs are, this is a battle I'm probably not going to win. Possibly. It depends how strong I am relative to my opponent. But all things being equal, my opponent's legs are going to be stronger. So instead of me pulling Colby's leg into me, I want to pull me into him. It's much easier to maintain a position, just like when you're weightlifting. It's easier to maintain a position than it is to push through it, for example, if the, you're pushing the weight out. Likewise, it's easier for me to maintain pulling a weight in than actually having to pull it in. So if I can just maintain it here and I can scoot in, then all of a sudden I've got my position back again. So I'm in this position. He has, instead of me pulling, this is hard. I just want, I want to throw my hips in here. I just want to come in. At that, that point, then I want to regain my position to be able to transfer the weight and then to switch off.